So this video is going to show you how to do multiplication um, when you have a two-digit number and you're multiplying it by a one-digit number and you're using the standard algorithm, which means the standard method. Algorithm is just a fancy word for method. This is probably the way your parents learn to do um, multiplication. And in my opinion, it is the most um, efficient way or the quickest way. So when you have two numbers like this, 49 times four, you're gonna multiply by the ones place and then you're gonna multiply by the tens place. So when we multiply four times nine, we get an answer of 36 and I'm just gonna move that down a little bit. So four times nine is 36. And when we have the number 36, it looks like this. And we want to put the 6 in the 1's place, because this is the 1's place right here. So we are going to put the 6 in the 1's place. And this 3, we're going to carry up to the 10's place. So this is um, multiplication using regrouping. Um, and we usually call that carrying here in class. So you can see that this number 36 is still right here, 36. It's just written spread apart, all right? So we're putting our ones in the ones place. We're putting our tens in the tens place. So we've multiplied part of the problem. The next step we're going to do is multiply this number times the tens place. So we're going to say 4 times 4. And we know that 4 times 4 is 16, and it looks like this. Now, when you do your multiplication, you don't need to write down all this stuff over here. I'm just doing it to keep a visual check on things. So 4 times 4 is 16, and then we add the 3. So that would be 17, 18, 19. So our answer is going to look like this. And because I'm doing this in a, on a keyboard, I have to shuffle the numbers around a little bit. So you can see that the ones are lined up with the ones. There we go. And the tens are lined up with the tens. And if there were hundreds, they would be lined up here. So our final answer is 196. We multiplied 4 times 9 and got 36. We put the 6 in the ones place, carried the 3 into the tens place. We did 4 times 4 and got 16. We added this, 17, 18, 19, and wrote that down in front. We always start multiplying in the ones place. We never start multiplying in the tens place. So keep that in mind. So your final answer is 196. Now we have our next problem here, 24 times 5. We're going to start multiplying in the ones place. We're going to say 5 times 4, and 5 times 4 is 20. We put the 0 down, and we carry the 2. So our 2 goes up here. See, this is still the number 20. It's just spread apart, the 2 here, the 0 there. Then we're going to multiply by the tens place, 5 times 2 is 10. Add this 2 and we get 11, 12. So we are going to put that right here. And because I'm typing, I have to scoot it over a little bit. So you can see that 5 times 2 is 10. Add this 11, 12. We put that right there. All right. So 5 times 24 is 120. I'm going to show you something here because we've done the distributive model, and I'm going to show you that this still works. So if we were to break 24 apart and get it to be 20 plus 4, then we're going to multiply each part by 5. So we've broken this apart, and we're going to multiply each part by 5. So I would do 5 times 20 5 times 20 and that would equal you count by 20s 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 
that would equal 100. And then we're going to do 5 times 4. I'm going to do that on the next line here. 5 times 4 is 20. And then we would add up these two numbers, 100 plus 20 gives me 120. Now, I hope I didn't muddy the water there, but I wanted to show you that whether you use the standard algorithm or you use the distributive property, you're still going to end up with the same answer. So 100 plus 20 equals 120. I want you to try the standard algorithm. So not try this, all right? But I just wanted you to, sh I wanted you to see that it works. All right, so we're gonna do this with the standard algorithm or the traditional method. Four times eight, we always start in the ones column. Four times eight is 32. Two goes in the ones column and three goes in the tens column. Still 32, it's just written spread apart. Then we're going to multiply by the tens. Four times six. What is that? What is four times six? Hope you said 24. Add the three. 24, 25, 26, 27. And the 27 goes down here. And I have to jostle my numbers around a little bit to get loops. Hit the undo button there. And then our final answer is 272. So we're going to try another problem. We are going to try um, 45 times 8. And we are going to multiply the 8 times the 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So the 0 goes in the 1's column. We carry the 4 into the 10's column. And we multiply 8 times 4. 32. Add 4. 33, 34, 35, 36. So we end up with 36. And so our final answer is 360. We're going to do 76 times 6. 6 times 6. What is that answer? 6 times 6 is 36. We put our 6 in the 1's column. We carry our 3 into the tens column, and we multiply the 6 times the 7, and 6 times 7 is 42, 43, 44, 45. We add that 3 to it, so we end up with 45, and back my numbers up here a little bit so they line up. So our final answer is 456. Then we're going to do 90 times 5. Even if it has zeros in it, we still multiply the very same way. 5 times 0. I hope you said it's 0. That's a common mistake for people to say 5 times 0 is 5. But remember, you're saying five groups of zero. And if you have zero in every group, you have nothing. So you have zero. Five times zero is zero. We don't have anything to carry. And then we say five times nine is 45. So we're going to write that down. And back my numbers up to line them up. So five times 90 is 450. And if you recall from our previous lessons, we talked about when we have zeros here, we can do the find the math fact, add the zero. So the math fact is 5 times 9, which gives us 45, and we add one zero. So you can visually see how that works. 
All right, I'm going to do one more problem that I don't have set up yet. But I'm going to set that up right here. And I'm going to say, let's do 23 times 2. Um, most of the problems that we have been doing, we've always had something to carry. But that's not always the case. So I want to show you that here. So if we have 2 times 3, we always start in the ones column. 2 times 3 gives us 6. We don't have anything to carry, and that's okay. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So our final answer here is 46. So remember to multiply by the ones column. Put your answer here. If you have to carry, carry the tens over here. Multiply the ten the Time the, times the tens column, add anything you might need to add on top, and write your final answer down there. And this is the standard way, really the most efficient way, to do this type of multiplication. And this up here, I just showed you how indeed we get the same answer even if we used the distributive property. So I hope this is helpful. And this will help you do worksheet 9.4.1.